Hi, this is Jay Sachs bringing you an educational video talking about buying a new or used watch. Now I know some of you are considering getting into automatic watches. You may want to buy your first nice watch. So here's a quick little um, tip sheet for you. This will be a two-part video. The first part is talking about new and the second part talking about pre-owned. Let's begin with the new. Now, the top way and most expensive way is to buy new at an authorized dealer. Let's go over some points regarding that. So, you're going to have a warranty which will be honored by the company. If you have any problems whatsoever, take your watch and your warranty card, right, walk right back into the shop and they will look after you. Also, you know it's going to be factory service if it's covered under warranty. It gives you peace of mind. Next, you know it's going to be guaranteed authentic. When you go to the AD, the Rolex you buy is going to be a genuine Rolex. It's not going to be a return item. It's not going to be stolen. You know exactly what you're getting. Moving on, when you go to the AD, you're going to get personalized service. This may include coffee, tea, beverages, and other little treats like that. They're going to look after you. You should have a very knowledgeable and helpful sales assistant, and they really should do everything to please you. They're going to sit you down, let you try on watches at a relaxed pace, and offer you a refreshing beverage. Another advantage to buying new AD is you may t many times you can receive free items such as a travel pouch, event passes or other merchandise. Many times the boutique will host events and or sponsor events and they can get you free tickets to those events. Moving on. Here's some of the uh, other parts. You're going to pay the highest price and for any discount they're going to require negotiation. They're not going to offer you a discount off the bat. You have to work for it. And here's the other one, which kind of makes sense. If you're paying the highest price, of course, you will take the biggest hit on resale. Just bear that in mind. So you are paying more money, but you do get some benefits. The warranty, guaranteed authentic, personalized service. It really depends how much that is worth to you. Now, the next level is new gray market. Now, many times this is going to be online. Let's look at some points regarding that. Lower price than AD. Now, many times gray market dealers actually get their watches either from a, an AD or some kind of middleman who buys surplus watches from the AD then sells them to the gray market. So you will get a discount. Let's move on. It's going to be brand new, but there is no factory warranty. Next time you buy a Rolex, for example, look at your warranty card. It's going to say this is an, an international warranty, but the warranty card must have the dealer and the date of sale. And guess what? It must have your name on it. When you buy from Gray Market, it's not going to have those. You may have a blank warranty card which is essentially useless or there may be no warranty card. Moving on. Now some gray market dealers do have their own in-house warranty, but you have to wonder who is going to repair it. Let's say you have a problem with your watch in the first year and you send it back to them. Are they going to have factory trained technicians? Are they going to have factory parts? Are they going to have a factory service? Who knows? It may vary. Moving on. Once again, assuming online, you cannot try it on in person. So 
you know, going back to the AD, you can sit down, you can try numerous styles, you can take pictures, go home, think about it, come back next week, next day, try on some more watches, and really get a feel for how it looks on your wrist. You can look at natural light, artificial light, and really get a sense of the thickness, the proportion, the weight, and you really get the the true aspect of the watch buying experience. With a gray market, you don't have that. Additionally, they may have a strict return policy. It may be subject to restocking fees, or maybe they don't allow returns at all. And additionally, if you do want a return, it's gonna be on your dime, most likely. Now contrast that with an AD. If you have an issue with it, and it needs to go back to the factory, they're gonna take care of all of that for you. So quick review of some things to consider when you're gonna buy a new watch at the AD versus the gray market. One thing I did not mention here, but is a factor with some gray market watches, they may be listed as new, but they may be a sample model, a display model, or in fact, they may be a return. So bear that in mind. If I've missed anything, please feel free to let me know and stay tuned for part two, where I'll discuss the pre-owned options. This is Jay Sykes, hoping you have a nice day. If possible, bye.